There are many long-term landlords who have had a fantastic run since the 1980s and 90s are deciding to exit the market. 160 odd thousand properties have left the rental market because more landlords are selling than buying. Why? Uh, well, it's legislation, um, uh, compliance, all the hassle that comes with being a landlord. The final straw was mortgage rates going up to five, five hundred percent. And some landlords thought, do you know what? Four and five percent in the bank is better than all this hassle. Now, are they right to be selling up? Or is perhaps this point in time the best time to enter the UK property market for a decade, maybe even more? Let's get into it. You know, first it's worth noting that actually it might be the right time for you to sell, you know, everyone deserves to retire at some point. Those landlords who have had the fantastic run from the 80s and 90s, mm. um, they want to retire at some point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. they've got to. And um, age, at some point, you've got to decide when enough is enough and you get now. So if that's you, that's you and great decision. It would have been better to exit a couple of years ago. Yeah, maybe. Two yeah, or three years yeah. ago, but no one's got a crystal ball. Exactly. Um, also, just bear, bear in mind, yeah, maybe we'll change a few uh, people's opinions today. Um, passing your heirs, your property to your heirs in a tax wrapper, maybe a limited company or, or something like that. Uh, it's a good, good inheritance tax play mm. for some people. Um, but yeah, some some people are selling some up. Some people aren't don't aren't intending to pass stuff on. Yeah, have some to pass it to. Absolutely. You know? So some yeah, there's lots of reasons why it might be the right to be. Yeah, exactly. However, yeah, the professional guys, they're doing something different. Yeah. Absolutely for sure. We can the see cash it. rich people, the foreign investors, they're buying in the UK, and big time. Yeah. Uh, the, the alternative um, to question, questioning the title, the alternative is, is this perhaps the best uh, point to invest in the UK or are those people uh, selling up right? Um, many investors are investing in the UK now, mm. right now, absolutely. Those, those people, importantly, I think it's those people who are serious about investing, uh, about creating long-term wealth. There was a recent um, uh, like a survey by Investec, yeah. the, the you know, um, wealth managers, uh, and they surveyed their clients who, so let's not forget, they're already wealthy, and that, that was the key thing. So this is what are wealthy people doing differently? So Investec's a good, loads of other surveys, but that's, that's a good survey because they're already talking to wealthy people. And it was something like high 70% of those, their clients, their, their people who've already got money, were planning on investing in the UK property. 70 odd percent. So wealthy people right now, it's a 2024 study or survey, um, you know, three quarters of them are investing, are planning to invest in UK property right now. They see some things that perhaps other landlords would see as um, problems in the market <clears throat> as a as a good entry point. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I see now a, a change in the demographic of our clients. Mm -hmm. Age, um, we're getting a lot of more younger clients than we used to. People who are first time landlords and property investors, they're not afraid. No. The, you know, I, when I say young, typically a young client for us is someone my sort of age, 40, early 40s. Um, they've made some money for the first time in the last 10 years. They've got it to invest yeah, yeah. properly for the first time yeah. in their lives. And um, they've never had nope. investment property for this, but we aspire to it. And yeah. the kind know, of conversations you're having more yeah. are beginner invest uh, a lot of those first time questions you get you mm. get asked a lot more now whereas before it was i've got five houses how do i add to the next yeah. one he's a bit more yeah. he's working harder for his money isn't he? you're working more mm -hmm. harder with, with clients and answering the questions which yeah, that's that's part of the game um but yeah property prices have fallen slightly over the last couple of years or at yeah. least stayed flat um long-term landlords are keen to sell and this new breed of landlords is sensing that there's an opportunity to do some good deals. If you're keen to sell, um, then you know things. Things can uh, the, the market is relatively soft. We can buy some really good deals. Uh, comparables are holding up reasonably well, actually. Yeah, um, big time. You, you, if you were to look in the market, you would say things haven't really slipped back that much. Not in the more afford, what, what quote unquote affordable bit of the market. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, and then that's the investor end as well. Isn't yeah, it? but um, equally, if something is worth a hundred thousand, let's say, I'm just picking around number because it works with percentages. Um, you know, whereas maybe you would have got a 10% discount, maybe you can get a 10 uh, before, or maybe you can get more than that now, just because you're speaking to one particular vendor who's just desperate to do I mean, a deal before before um, capital gains changes, before they retire, before whatever, whatever, whatever. There's a, there's a deadline, Lou, and it's because I mean, of their Clever investors, smart investors, they don't 
ever really stop. They don't see things that they don't see the things that put the people off. They just no. see them. No. Now let's talk a little bit about the long-term prospects. So those wealthy individuals, seventy odd percent of them, if you believe the Investec survey, are planning on investing in UK property. They see this as a good entry point for all those other reasons. You know, mm-hmm. others are getting out, uh, and they're betting that you know nothing's going to stop. Um, property being a long-term investment uh, that does well over the long term. And I think it's, it's really interesting that lot, lots of people, most people probably, only want to buy something when it's more expensive this year than last year <clears throat> and when lots of other people want to buy it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, it, it's an absolute fact that, yeah. um, so we're, we're property sources and so we speak to clients who want to invest in property and demand for our services goes up when the market's going up. Mm. Yeah, when the market's going down and things are uncertain, demand goes down. Now, some of that's because generally the economy is doing less and less people have got less money. But actually, there's a there's a com- underlying confidence that comes from a rising market and doing the same as everybody. Mm-hmm. But wealthy investors know that that's a silly thing to do. Yeah, it's just a silly thing to do. Um, long-term investors see that the lack of competition it's the perfect time to invest. You know, prices are low and people and want especially to Especially somewhere like the UK where it's an established country. Mm-hmm. It's, you can see what the property market's done over the last 50, 100 years, whatever. You mm-hmm. know it's, got, it's consistent. It's yeah. always going to go up. Yeah. Um, there's not um, tons of news stories of people having their houses taken off in weird legal battles and stuff. It That's happen. a really good point. So, so from, um, and, and, and in the UK we're blessed yeah. and we don't understand this quite so much. We, don't, we, yeah. we never talk about it because, yeah. but if you are from anywhere else, lots of other, not anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, not anywhere lot, else, yeah, but, but you know, lots of other places, places yeah. in, in the world, you invest yeah. your money in, well, London, <clears throat> Paris and New York, you know, because they're a jurisdiction where your money can't be taken away from you by the latest yeah. dictator or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Even yeah. not even dictator, yeah. sometimes just weird, weird laws, you know. Lots of people want to get their money out, and that really benefits. I mean, the, the property prices are driven in London, then it ripples out by that kind of investor, and the native UK investor benefits just by virtue of that. I mean, mm. That's yeah, you know, the solid legal system, and, and yeah. being that is yeah, it's definitely part of it. I mean, it's not something that might play on your mind, but um, a wealthy investor has got a long-term view, and those things do factor into their, into their mind. Let's talk about rents and mortgage rates. Yeah, it's the, it's the obvious thing. It's the thing that's on lots of investors' mind. I think the, it was the final uh, straw, wasn't it? So um, landlords that are selling up, they will have seen over probably a long decade, a bit more maybe, you know, compliance twisting up and um, it, it, it generally being harder and more hassle to be a landlord, you know, renters mm. rights and all sorts of things just making it a little bit uh, um, harder. And then up came mortgages that went higher, interest rates went yeah. higher and people paid mortgages. Now what that actually then did was put rents up. So rents have gone up, what? Depends where you are. But typically, 20, that, 20%? Uh, that was a big problem for people who had been renting out the same property for a long time and hadn't maintained it well, hadn't done a lot of upgrading to it, then yep. they're finding that they've got to spend some money on maintenance, then their profits are getting dwindled away because yeah. the rent, their mortgage rates are going up because they've refinanced num- countless times and got all their money out years ago and they've yeah. got the highly leveraged. Yeah, mm. it, it seemed easy. So at the point when you yeah, pay like it was going to come forever, yeah, a couple yeah. of percent then, um, on your product mortgage rate, then, um, well, yeah. And, and, and if you skimped on maintenance, you're right, and then it comes up and bites you in, in the bum. Taxes were another thing, that was yeah. another thing that changed. But the big thing was, was mortgages. Mortgage interest rate went, went from a 350 year low to a, uh, uh, huh. what was it? Was it was a 16 year high. Was it 15, 16 years? So it hadn't been higher since? So that, no, that, that maybe not far you. off, not far off. They're not, yeah. not that yeah. high no. <laughs> right now. Um, no, and they've come down. Considerably, yeah. 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 Well, right now today, um, product rates, as distinct from mortgage rates, mm. have, have come down, and they're coming down um, more as well. Definitely. Um, but with the ra- rising rents, um, yields have actually been pushed higher. Yep. And here's the thing that we're talking about: those wealthy landlords. So, as opposed from apart from average Joe, who, um, yeah wants things to be more expensive every year than, than last year and he doesn't see the contrarian point of view that this is a great point, a time to get into the market. Um, they want 
they're put off by those high mortgage rates and what they don't understand, I, I think, and you hear this, if it works today, and it does work today if you buy the right house, it's only going to get better over the next decade. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, is this the best time? So it might not be amazing right now because product rates could be 5%. I, I haven't got a crystal ball, but I think that about now they're gonna start coming down. There's an mm -hmm. interest rate decision in the next couple of days. I guess it's 50-50, but I read something um, in the Times and it was a 90% you know, chance of it coming down by September and then just keep coming down, keep coming down. And the, the target was somewhere about 4%. And, uh, Which feels about right. It feels about right. And yeah. it's, it, it, if it works right now today, the kind of properties that we buy, they work right now today with today's mortgage rates. Um, if you get in now, the long-term professional investor knows that if it works today, it's only going to get better over time because as time goes on, yeah. mortgage rates are going to come down, rents are going to go up, and you bought it what you bought it for today. So um, it's, going to, it's likely to continue to work this well or better for decades, so the numbers only improve. Um, yeah, I think that's some really, really good um, sort of long-term thinking there. Yeah, I agree. Um, what else are we going to talk about? No, I think I think we, that's it for today. To be honest, I think you know it could be the best time in the last decade or so to start investing in property. If you want to find out a bit more about what we do, how we source property for clients, renovate property for clients, feel free to. Have a look in the description where you're listening or watching this. Mm -hmm. Click the book a call with me and um, yep. we can have a chat. Yep. If you found the content useful, like, subscribe. Uh, depending where you watch it, there's usually a, a, an option to leave a comment. If you want to leave a comment, we love to engage and you leave a comment, we'll do our best to reply back. If you put FTL in the comments at any point, we'll uh, drop a link in so you can go straight to the appointment yep. booking page and um, that's another way to get in touch as well. You feel Amazing. Good. If you can't find forthelandlords.com, I mean, that's also, <laughs> the, the, the clue's in the name. Right. Thank you. Bye for now.